Hey, it's me, Borderline Youper here again. Um, we're into the phase for apple cider, hard apple cider. I'm I'm gonna um, stop fermentation. It actually is already finished fermenting. Uh, there's no more sugar left, as I tested the specific gravity. There's no sugar left in in the cider anymore. So, what I'm gonna do though to make sure is the bacteria is dead. So if when I back sweeten it here. I don't get any more fermentation because it'll produce more carbon monoxide and cause the bottles to explode. So we are going to take the um, bucket fermenter here and empty it out and uh, put it in a hot water bath and, for, at a, and leave it sit for 10 minutes at 149 degrees to make sure that the bacteria is killed off. As you can see the um, airlock here is actually backed up. So there's actually from um, the, the carbon dioxide has actually kind of gone out of it. It's kind of created a vacuum in there. So we're going to kill the bacteria and then uh, let it cool down and do some back sweetening. And then um, carbon dioxide. We're going to add some carbon dioxide to it um, with a corny keg and bottle it. Okay, so we are um, basically using a hot water bath type system double boiler to heat up the cider so I can kill the bacteria in it. So I got it coming out of the bucket and I poured it in here. Doing kind of the same thing that they told me to do in my book. And then I'm checking the temperature here. We're at 120 degrees right now in the liquid. We have to get that up to 149 degrees and then leave it sit there for 10 minutes at 149 degrees. We're gonna make three different batches. This one here I'm just gonna carbonate um, and not sweeten it and bottle it that way so it's just plain plain carbonated cider hard cider and then we're gonna do one with maple syrup in it for a back sweetening and then the last the final one um, I'm going to add regular apple juice to this back sweeten it so keep trucking next so on this next batch what I'm gonna do is back sweeten it with some maple syrup so I got the um, process started here to get the uh, bacteria to quit growing. Um, but what else I have to do is I would take um, equal parts water to equal parts whatever sweetener you're going to use, honey, sugar. Um, I'm using maple syrup in this case. And I'm going to boil it and then I'll add it into the... Um, cider and try it and see if that um, brings up the sweetness to where I like it and then if it doesn't keep doing that process over again until I get it to where I want it for sweetness so um, that's what I'm working on so far for batch number two and batch number one is in the corny keg cooling I should go put it outside so I keep checking the temperature here of the cider it's at 127 degrees. The water outside of it is at 150 degrees. So that's how much it cools off when I add the cooler cider to it. Pretty interesting. It's going up though. So this batch is my last batch. And I made some cider with the girls earlier in the week um, with some fresh apples. And I actually um, did the same process. I pasteurized this um, cider so that it wouldn't go bad before I uh, before we could get it drank up in a couple days. So I pasteurized this already, so I'm just gonna add this to this batch to back sweeten it and give it flavor. And we'll test that out and we'll see how that tastes. And we'll add a little more if we need to. Okay, so we got the CO2 canister there with the um, pressure gauges and then we got the corny keg and we got the first batch of cider in it and it cooled down to it's about 40 degrees I would say or 42 degrees it uh, cooled way down outside here because beautiful night outside and the upper peninsula of Michigan you can't see none it's dark <laughs> um, so what I'm doing is in order to get 2.5 roughly volumes of CO2 into my cider um, I am setting the gauge according to the chart that I got with the gauge 
and the setup on how to do this uh, to 10 PSI. Okay, well, I use the dishwasher to sanitize my bottles so they're all nice and sanitized with hot water instead of using um, the Sandstar liquid. Works good, just put the dishwasher on, sanitize, and it'll sanitize the bottle with water over 150. So here's the setup bottling out of the corny keg here. <clears throat> what I did is I switched last night, I, I switched these two hoses. I put the book I reference um the out on this corny keg has a, uh, a straw that goes all the way down to the bottom of the keg to get your, all your liquid out and then this one just kind of pressurizes in here so um i switched these hoses and pushed co2 down inside this um thing to blow the co2 into the liquid better so that it stirs and and saturates the uh cider inside and I let it sit overnight um, but then I swapped them so now that I can use this to fill my bottles so this is the um, I got this with the kit I bought off the internet with all the stuff with the um, capper and all that stuff with the bottles and this had a little stopper on the bottom but I found it was giving me a lot of extra CO2 foaming so I took that off the bottom and I used that straw I sanitized all of this um, and used the straw to fill the bottle and then I will cap it here's some capped ones already so hopefully my co2 stays within so what I'm doing is I taking the straw sliding it down into the bottle just like you're gonna pour a drink and we fill her up Granted, you lose some CO2, but I kind of seems like I got lots of CO2 in this. It's pretty foamy. So hopefully, I'll have some carbonation left in here. You can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it or not, foaming. liquid in here. I kind of want it out three quarters of the way up the neck. But I feel like the more I wait, the more CO2 I'm going to lose. So we get the capper, set it on top of the bottle and crimp down. And voila! Got a nice bottled apple cider. This stuff, the first stuff I made is just straight cider. There's no back sweetening, no nothing. Just carbonated cider in the in the bottle. Off to the next. Oh, it turned out actually pretty nice. Got the pressure maybe back down on the on the bottle there. So. She's empty. That's the end of it. I didn't even get a full bottle. I know I had to clean the hoses out and stuff, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten out of that batch. You're figuring twelve, but I like I said I did waste some to 
make sure I had all the sanitation stuff out of the hose and I don't want all that flavor in my my stuff so that's that batch here is get ready for the next batch so oh I don't want to do that we don't want to do that I got to there got to sink first like this so I shut this valve off here so I can undo these The input and the output are going to get swapped on the tank here because this only fits on one side. They don't flip flop. They're made to only fit on one side or the other. So take this off and then I'll clean this back up again, rinse it up, probably sanitize it. But what I'm going to do now is hook the carbon CO2 side back to the outlet because when I dump my new batch in here, to, like I said in the video, I dump my new batch in here. I want this thing to carbonate with the straw all the way down to the bottom. So I don't plan on rinsing this out because it's all the same batch. Uh, so I don't think I'll have any problems with bacteria or anything. It's all the same stuff. If you can see down there, maybe we can turn the light on. Oh, I need enough light. But anyway, there's a straw that goes all the way down in there. So, Okay, this is batch number two. Dump this in the corny keg. Let's see how bad I can spill it. Why well, did it the sink? off on the outside. He smells like alcohol. So we drop this in, spin it, and lock it. There it is. I'm going to rinse this pig off. I spilled all over the heck all of it. I did wash this corny keg out and sanitize it when I started. So. All with the sanitizing solution, Star Sand, and I washed it with my. Uh... Okay, so I'll hook this back on the outspout. Like that. And crank this on. Except for I didn't open my valve on the tank. You can hear it gurgling. CO2 is going in. So like I said, that straw is going all the way down and it's going in through the liquid so it'll help absorb into the liquid. And then it says to burp this to get the air out of here at least three times. So. that good CO2. And she's filling again. You hear that baby gurgle. You think the keg's gonna explode? Got 
too much pressure. I got it up to 15 now. Although the one book I have says to put it up to 15 and shake it around for three minutes. Roll it and shake it because this is forced carbonating quicker. Otherwise, the slow method is you got to let it sit for two or three days. But in order to get more surface area, you roll it and shake it. And then let her sit for three hours in refrigeration. Okay, there's the final product in the bottles. We got a box of, of good old apple cider, a couple different flavors I flavored it. One I back flavored it with uh, apple cider, the other one's plain, and then the other one I did a maple vanilla, which is in there with the caps with the M on them. So, all good stuff. Borderline you per out.